Sherlock Holmes 2 is now streaming on Netflix. It has been streaming, I think, for about a week now. And it is directed by Daniel Bradbeer. I think that's his name, or is it Henry? Henry Bradbeer. It's probably his name. This film brings back some of the cast members from the first Enola Holmes movie, which came out a few years ago. Millie Bobby Brown is back reprising her role as Enola Holmes. Henry Cavill is back reprising his role as Sherlock Holmes in a much more expanded role this time. You have uh, Louis Partridge, who's back as Tewksbury. You have David Thewlis starring in this movie. Helena Bonham Carter uh, reprising her role as Enola's mom. Enola Holmes is trying to make her way as a detective in light of her success from the first movie. She is given a mysterious case to find a missing girl, and this missing girl leads her on a trail of breadcrumbs that somehow allows her path to intersect with Sherlock's, who's also working on his own case. Turns out their cases are actually connected, so now the two Sherlock's have to put their heads together to find out what what is with the mystery of this missing girl? What it has to do with Sherlock's case? You know, all the other mystery stuff that's going on in the movie. Just a bunch of mystery, mystery, mystery shit. If you didn't really care for the first Enola Holmes, thought it was boring, thought it was, I don't know what people's criticisms are of the first Enola Holmes, to be honest, so I'm just projecting there. If you didn't like the first Enola Holmes, you're probably not gonna like this one. If you really liked the first one, you're probably gonna enjoy this one. I gotta say, I feel very similar about this one that I felt about the first one, which is to say, I had a fun time watching it guys. This is a fun, light, harmless kind of movie. It's, it's a kind of bubbly, adventurous type of movie that gives you enough fun, enough thrills, a little bit of darkness here or there, all of it in the package of an entertaining mystery that has a lot of twists and turns. Probably just as charming and just as fun as the first movie goes. Uh, definitely uh, the fourth wall breaks are really funny. I like the way that they incorporate that with Enola's character. My favorite dynamic of this movie definitely is the relationship between Sherlock Holmes and Enola Holmes. Uh, Sherlock gets a lot more screen time, a lot more stuff that he gets to do in this movie. It's just fascinating to see brother and sister and how they're both great detectives, but they both go about it in completely different ways. I like seeing the way that their minds work and the way that their minds bounce off of each other when they have to work through something in a scene. And having them be around each other more in this movie was definitely one of my favorite aspects of the movie. That was when the movie was at its peak. Beyond that, I thought the performances were good. I like some of the editing that came with uh, this movie in terms of the visuals and some of the creative things that they do on screen to show transitions or to show what characters are thinking. Like I like the stylistic way that this movie was put together. Also Daniel Pemberton did the score for this movie. He did the score for the first movie. I thought the score was actually pretty decent here. If you're just looking for a decent little mystery thriller with some fun characters and some fun moments, I think you could do a lot worse than Enola Holmes too. Where this movie falters is that it tries to pack a little bit too much into this movie. It's needlessly complicated and convoluted at times. It's not to say that the movie is difficult to follow or to track or to keep up with or whatever. It just feels like there's a lot to follow, a lot to keep up with, a lot to track in this movie. They try to stuff a lot more plot, a lot more story into this one compared to the first one. And sometimes you do feel a little bit overwhelmed and it does make the runtime feel a little bit longer than it is. I thought that there was a few too many cuts in some of the action moments in the movie specifically, where I thought they could have made things a little bit more streamlined, given us a, a wider view of what's going on in the in the takes and in the scenes. And I also think they didn't quite nail the landing as much as they wanted to nail it at the very end of the movie because they're trying to tie everything up in a neat bow. It doesn't always come off as neatly as it could in terms of execution. Beyond all that, I had fun with the movie. I don't really have much more to say about it. Enola Holmes 2 was fun, light, pretty harmless. I'm gonna leave this one in the Silver Age for Man of Steel. Those are my thoughts on Enola Holmes 2. Tell me, have you seen it? What did you think about it? How would you compare it to the first Enola Holmes movie? Give me your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe to the Superfan Show. And if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. Stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.